I'm Affie and I decided to do a YouTube channel all about books, specifically historical romance because I've been obsessed ever since watching season two of Bridgerton. It's just been non-stop. Books, books, read, read. I mean, I think I started out reading like four books a week. I was just knocking them out. Um, it's kind of slowed down now. It's been probably about eight or nine months and I'm now reading about one to two books a week. Um, but that's, I feel like it's still something I used to never read at all. Um, so I'm just proud of myself that I'm doing that again. Um, so today I'm just going to do a quick haul. Actually, it probably won't be very quick. It's a lot of books. Um, I love going to half price books. Um, I have one up the street from my house, so I'm constantly, despite me being broke half the time, I'm constantly walking in there and just going nuts. Um, some items I got from eBay, but I, I don't really love purchasing from eBay unless it's like a collector's item or something like that. Um, you just never know what you're going to get unless you can actually see the picture of the item, see the picture of the book before you buy it. Um, so I don't buy as much from eBay, but a lot of my books I get. Uh, Thrift Books is a place that I get books from pretty often, half price books. Um, there's a place here in uh, the Pacific Northwest where I live called Third Place Books. Um, they do both new and um, resold books. So that's another place I like to go. Um, I'm trying to think. Thrift stores. Um, I don't find as many books as, at thrift stores as I thought that I would. It's, I don't know. There's just, there's not good options here, especially at like Goodwill and Value Village. You don't actually find very many romance books in general. Um, so that's kind of weird, but I'm sorry. My nose is burning. Um, yeah, so that's where I tend to get all my books from, and this will be quick. I'm just going to show you what the books are. Um, so the first one is actually a book that I replaced because I bought the first edition on eBay, and it's gorgeous, and I love it, but it's hiding away, so, um, something like love. This is... Beverly Jenkins book. So that's the first one. And then I've got a Sabrina Jeffries here called How to Woo a Reluctant Lady. A few of these I, oops, a few of these I already have a copy of. Um, let me see. There's no step back here. If there are step backs, I will show you the step backs. Um, this next book is Christina Dodd, Rules of Engagement. This one does have a step back, but it's not anything fancy. Let me see if I can show you that right there. So it opens up to that, which is fine. It's a pretty picture. <coughs> Another one that I have here, I have Kathleen E. Woodowis. This one's a sticker on it still, but Kathleen E. Woodowis, um, The Reluctant Suitor. Sorry if this is a little hard to see. Um, still working out things like lighting and all of that. Oh, this is the other one that I have a copy of. So this is technically a copy of Suddenly You. Um, I recently bought on eBay a... Uh, first edition that has the step back because this one doesn't. Um, so that's actually going to be something I'm going to give away, but I'm just glad I got the one with the step back. So. Okay, the next book I might end up repurchasing just because it's not in good condition at all, but it's Eloisa James' This Duchess of Mine. And I, 
I love the cover. I just wish it was in better shape. I don't know if you can see over here. There's like a line coming down. So probably gonna replace that one. Okay, some of these I'm I know I'm going to replace because I do want first editions if possible for all my books. I just I love first editions. I love step backs. I just I I want the original. So this I will have for a while. I'll probably end up reading this version and then getting the original version when I have a chance. But this is Lisa Claypass, Only With Your Love. That is a pretty cover though. It's just not the cover that I want to see. I've also got another Lisa Claypass here. This one will definitely be repurchasing. It's kind of messy on the seams there. This is Scandal in Spring. It is a beautiful cover as well. But again, I want the original. And then another Lisa Claypass I have here, Where Dreams Begin. Beautiful cover there as well. Still want the original. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying that. I do want the original. Um, just a sec, I'm gonna grab the next one. Okay, so I have a few Teresa Majeros books. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I've got Breath of Magic. Unfortunately, it does not have a step back despite having that little thing there that makes it look like it's a step back. I hate that. Um, Teresa Medeiros is Charming the Prince. This one has a really beautiful cover. And then here is Step Back. You can see that okay. There's that. It's obviously medieval, medieval times. So that should be good. And then I've also got Some Like It Wild. I know this is part of one of her newer series. Um, I think I have the other book that's part of the series as well. I can't. I think it's called Some Like It Wicked. Um, but there's, there's the step back for that one. Sorry if I'm not getting the best light here, but we're starting out, so we're gonna do what we can. Eloisa James, Much Ado About You. I have not read this one yet. I'm really looking forward to it. Julie Garwood, this is not the fancy cover. I do want the fancy cover, but here we have the secret. Um, then we have Laura Kinsale, The Dream Hunter. This one is, I don't know what to say about this one. I think it does have a step back though. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't know why this makes me laugh, but this is the step back. Um, he's got his horse. He has no shirt on. Yeah. Oh, he does have a shirt. Okay. It looks like he does not have a shirt on. I was blushing for a second. Stephanie Lawrence. Okay, I think these are since or sister? No, this is a Bastion Club novel. Um, this one is called A Fine Passion, and for the step back, we have this right here, and then we've got another Stephanie Warren's. This is also the Bastion Club novel, A Lady of His Own, and this also has a step back. Ooh, this is nice. I like this one. Okay. I'll have to figure out the lighting so it's not shining on the on the pictures. I've got a Amanda Quick Reckless. I think I have read this one actually. It's pretty funny. I think I can remember. So there's that. There's the stuff. Amanda Quick is a good, good uh, author. I love her books. If you haven't read her before, you should. 
Um, I've got Beverly Jenkins, Through the Storm. And this is, um, this is the first in the Levesque Brothers series. Give me just a sec. I'm going to turn this light off and see if it helps. Okay. Julie Garwood. We've got Julie Garwood's The Wedding. Oh, that looks a bit better. Um... Yeah, I want to get the original of this as well. This is boring. Um, after that, I have Julie Garwood's Rebellious Desires. Or Rebellious Desire. Anyway, there's that one. Another Amanda Quick in here. This is Mistress. Doesn't look to be in the greatest of conditions. And this one doesn't have a step back. I love her step backs. I kind of wish it did have a step back. Hers, are, they always look like movie posters and stuff. So. Okay, this one is Lindsay Sands. This is Love is Blind. I've read a few Lindsay Sands books. And her books are pretty wild. They're always really fun. So, um, oh, another Amanda Quick. And this one still has a sticker. This is I the Wed. I think I think there's another book, so it goes with this ring is one book, and then I the Wed, which is this book. With this ring, I the Wed. I like the cover. Little flowers are raised on the thing. Oh, I have another Stephanie Lawrence. I have a couple Stephanie Lawrence. Yeah, so we've got In Pursuit of Eliza Sinster, so this is a Sinster novel. Um, I know from what I've heard, the Sinster series has like 15 plus books or something ridiculous like that. Um, I was really interested in reading it just because a couple of people I've watched on YouTube have had good things to say about the series, but I don't know that I want to read a book Wow. I don't know that I want to read 18 books or 19 books for one series. That just seems like a lot. Um, but who knows? I'm, I'm one of those people I want to read everything from the start, so it just feels overwhelming. Um, I would overwhelm myself. But this is Stephanie Lauren's The Elusive Bride. No step back on that one. Yeah, there's no step back. Um, Beyond Seduction, another Bastion Club novel. It's a little torn on the side, but for the most part, it's in good condition, and I think this does have a step back. Yes, yes, we do. Look at that. Whoa, Nice, huh? Dramatic. Okay. Here we have Julia Quinn's Brighter Than the Sun. I also have the, origi uh, the original of the other book that goes in the series, which is Everything in the Moon. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, another Lisa Clay Pass. Mind Till Midnight. I think this is from the Hathaway series, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and this does have a step back as well. Oh, we have Splendid by Julia Quinn. Someone to watch over me, another Lisa Claypass in here. Someone to watch over me. There's the step back. The, the cover there. Oh! <laughs> I have Mine Till Midnight as well. Oh, no, this is a copy. I have two. I have two. I'm gonna have to get rid of one. 
That's okay. We can never have too many books. Teresa Majiros, Yours Until Dawn. I think there's a version with a step back. I'm gonna look for that because if there is one, I will have it. I shall have it. It will be mine. I must have it. Elizabeth Hoyt, The Raven Prince. This is not the version that I want. So again, I'm probably going to be looking for the other cover of this. Um, we've got the Leopard Prince. Again, this is not the cover version that I want. This is another Elizabeth Hoyt. This is part of the same series. I'm trying to think. I do have the Serpent Prince, which is in the cover that I like. Um, I'm kind of ticked off. I wanted them all in this series cover. Um, and in the back it shows you the pictures right here of the other two covers. They're very beautiful. I'm kind of sad. But I am on the lookout. Loretta Chase. Don't tempt me. That's beautiful. And then it has a step back. Which is also beautiful. There's that. I will figure out how to do all this better. Because right now... I am a mess. Cat Martin, Devil's Prize. I am I'm about to read a Cat Martin book in once I finish the book I'm currently reading, which is Lord Ian Madness of Lord Ian Mackenzie. The next book I have on my TBR is Cat Martin's I'm looking right at it, hold on. Silk and Steel. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, this one has a step back. It's a double page step back. And that one's very beautiful. We've got Secret Fire by Joanna Lindsay. I've also got Upon a Wicked Time by Karen Rainey. I've heard she's a really good author, but I've also heard other things, <laughs> so I'm going to have to do some research on her. Um, Kathleen E. Woodowis, Petals on the River, and I think this has a step back, let me see, it does not. Julie Garwood, Gentle Warrior. These are the covers I'm talking about. These are the Julie Gartwood covers I want for those other books. Um, the Wedding and The Secret. But these are the covers that I want. The old school. And then another Julie Gartwood here. Um, this is done in the regular trade, is it trade? Trade paperback or something. It's a larger size than the regular paperback, which I don't like. But this is another copy of The Bride. Which is really actually very pretty. There's no step back, of course. But that was the last book, so I've got a giant pile here of books that I'm going to need to put away. Um, I will probably be doing a TBR video next um, because I have a list of about 10 books that I want to get through between November and December. I say 10 um, between two months just because, again, right now I'm getting about one to two books done a week. I don't want to push myself to read 10 books in a month if I'm barely getting past five. So <laughs> I am giving myself a uh, time for this first sprint and then hopefully I can speed myself up and read faster and more books. Um, you know, a lot of people do like, I, 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 I love reading the actual physical book. Um, I will listen to a book on Audible or audiobooks, but I think I prefer actual physical copies of books. I prefer to read a physical book. So if I need to, I will start doing audiobooks to kind of knock them out. 
but that's not my plan. My plan is to actually read the books physically, and if I can do that quickly, then I will definitely knock out a lot more than five books a month. So that's the plan, and thank you for watching this video. Um, yeah, I don't have any plans as to how often to post or anything like that. I'm just doing this for fun. So if you want to subscribe, stick around, hang out with me, do so. If you don't, that's fine as well. This is, again, all just for fun. So thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.